dear student in this video let us find out how we are going to have frequencies in argon pipe we have two types of pipes the pipe where both sides are opened both sides are opened those pipes are called open pipes and on the other hand if you have only one side is closed only one side is closed but the other side is open then it's called as closed pipe so in open pipe both sides are open in closed pipe only one side is open the one side is closed the other side is open now before going to that let us try to understand how we will have a stationary wave stationary wave in a argon pipe as we can see here clearly as we can see here clearly there are regions where we have high pressure nothing but compressions nothing but compressions so from the mean position you see here it's a very high compression or maximum number of particles are there so along y axis we took pressure here pressure means force per unit area and you have force comes from all these molecules all in a given place which means more number of molecules in a given place so you can take it as more force you have more pressure you have at compressions and at rare fractions and at rare fractions you have less number of atoms so these are the places so now you have another wave exactly and this is bounced back if this wave is bounced back from a hard surface or maybe you know we don't know from where it will bounce back let's say now these two waves the one which is moving forward the other one is moving the other direction they these two will superimpose each other superimpose one over the other when these two waves superimpose on each other then what we have is a stationary wave like this what we have seen here you see here this is a compression caused by superimposition of two waves the one which is moving forward the one which is moving the opposite direction as a result the pressure will be doubled you see if this is a and this is also a if they superimpose this becomes 2a so the pressure will be doubled of course this they should oscillate in the same phase which means exactly here it should be peak and here also it should be peak then these two peaks coincide which means they add it up and then you'll get maximum peak and you'll get maximum peak so now just focus on this uh, wave superimposition uh, superimposition uh, simulation if you observe carefully if you observe carefully here if this is a mean position and this wave is flipping to here so which means you are going to have exactly like this i may not draw properly but i'll try so like this you have the superimposition wave let's observe that you see so these are the points where these are the points where we have 
uh, nodes and anti nodes which means let me draw that once again i have to stop exactly at peak yeah very good so now this is the mean position and this is these are the points of nodes these are the points of nodes where the particles won't oscillate at all they are they won't oscillate so one two three four five six seven eight eight nodes we have so super after superimposition this is how we'll have waves okay so let's have a look like this you see at the nodes the particles are not having any displacement but at anti node on the other hand you have maximum displacement so nodes are anti nodes but if you observe carefully the compressions and rarefactions we are representing a wave a longitudinal wave in terms of transverse wave longitudinal wave whatever we have in air in flute or any sound related uh, objects but we represent that longitudinal wave in terms of sine function nothing but it looks like a transverse wave but no we represent in terms of transverse wave now let's take a vibration in a closed pipe a closed pipe means one side should be closed the other side should be open if you open one side if you open one side so all compressions are ha going to happen in one edge and rare fractions are going to happen at the open end so now compression is here all the time because it's a hard surface from where all air particles will bounce back and it's a open place where you have rare fractions where you have rare fractions and now previously along y axis we took pressure but now we took displacement of a particle previously it's a pressure but this time i took displacement of particle i am representing displacement of displacement of particle all the particles which are, are near to the argon pipe near the surface of the closed side they can't vibrate because they are pressed near the wall so they can't vibrate but on the other hand the particles which you have at the at the other side other opening they can oscillate as much as possible which means they can oscillate with the maximum displacement that's why we show a wave something like this when this wave bounces back from the surface bounces back and then you have a reflected wave this is how we will show the shape and now if l is the length of the pipe how do you write l equals to so what this shape is how much in terms of lambda let's uh, imagine so this is a full wave and we have only this part only this part which means this is half of the wave half of the wave and half again half which means this is lambda by 4 so lambda by 4 this is just 1/4 of a wave or lambda you can write it as 4 times of l lambda is 4 times of l and node is here this is a node and this is anti node let's look into now uh well is this possible let's see here is this possible for a wave if this is my question as we have closed here you will have node as this is open you can never have a node in a open pipe which means this kind of situation will never ever happen 
it will not happen because there is nothing no hard surface here for a wave to bounce back so this is not possible this is not possible so the next possibility is this one because at the hard surface at the hard surface you should have node and at in open surface you should have anti node the first possibility we have seen already this is the first possibility node anti node and the second possibility definitely is this one this is the node and all the way up to here where you have anti node so try to understand this is very important node anti node only possibilities in the open pipe sorry this is closed pipe not open pipe so now length length of the air column equals to this is this is something like up to here you have right so the full is lambda the full is lambda and this is three fourth of lambda so which means three lambda by four or lambda is four l by 3 we can write 4L by 3 we can write so now let's let's take a summary let's take a small summary initially I have like this let's take uh, at least three pipes so that easy to easy to compare now ink color i will change for the waves the first possibility here always node and at the edge you should have anti node here node and the other other side anti node here again node and anti node the first possibility for node and anti node is this shape this is the shape you can get so here L equals to lambda by 4 or lambda is 4 times of L. So next possibility here is this one. So that's what you have here. So L equals to 3 times of lambda by 4 or lambda is 4L by 4L by 3. So next possibility here. So one, two, and three. So of course, uh, this the edge should be very near to the column. This one should be near. So now L equals to one full wave is here plus lambda by four. That's a five lambda by four, or you can write as lambda is four times of L by five. So now we all know V equals to lambda F or F equals to 1 by lambda times of V. So now frequencies, let's here write F naught. The first possible frequency F naught is 1 by lambda V. F naught is 1 by lambda is 1 by 4L times of V. F1, F1 is 1 by 4L by 3 which means 3 goes up into V so F1 is 2 3 times of F0 and the finally so F2 is 5 by 4L into V so F2 is 5 times of F0 so finally what we got F0 F1 F2 goes as 1 is to 3 is to 5 so the first frequency let's say 100 hertz what you produced the next possibility is 300 hertz you can't produce 200 hertz here 150 not possible 250 not possible less than 100 not possible so only selected frequencies will be will possible here 
so now what I have here is 500 Hertz so 100 300 500 and the next possibility 700 next 900 and so on up to infinite so like this selected frequencies you will get from a closed pipe so in a flute for example you will get selected frequencies not all possible frequencies you will have no now let's go to open pipe open pipe means both sides should open both sides should open so the oscillations in the open pipe we can see very clearly here how it looks like so beautiful simulation so in both the edges at the both the edges you cannot have node because there is a surface to bounce back there is no surface to bounce back but each particle in the pipe what we know is they oscillate so you have a compression exactly at the middle and rarefaction at the edges so this is a beautiful simulation and now let's see how we can interpret so now here we have uh, node node and here anti node anti node so now what is the length of the eighth column in terms of lambda so l equals to lambda here how do you know that previously we have seen only this part is half of sorry is this lambda or lambda by 2 let's check it let's check it by ourselves only this part that's a one fourth of a wave that's a lambda by four and again are the same other part is lambda by four so together this is lambda by two lambda by two so altogether length here is lambda by two or lambda is two times of l the next possibility the next possibility so here you should have anti node and node anti node node and again anti node you see now the edge should be always anti node anti node so now this is uh, lambda by 2 this is lambda by 4 so l equals to lambda by 4 lambda by 2 lambda by 4 so this is equals to uh, 2 by 2 if you take 3 4 4 lambda by 4 mm -hmm. lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4 is lambda by 2 so this is exactly lambda this is lambda exactly and the next possibility let's take like this 1 2 and anti node as I said at the edges you should always have anti node which means now you see this one full wave that's a lambda this is lambda by 4 and this is lambda by 4 the other side so now if L equals to lambda plus lambda by 2 that's a 3 lambda by 2 so L is the first one L naught lambda by 2 L1 lambda you can write as 2 lambda by 2 and the third one is 3 lambda by 2 or maybe first second third you can write it as you see now the comparisons lambda by 2 2 lambda by 2 3 lambda by 2 now we will take the velocity equation velocity is lambda into frequency our frequency is v by lambda so f1 east f2 east f3 f1 is v by lambda 1 v by lambda 2 v by lambda 3 lambda 1 is 2l lambda 2 is 2 lambda by 2 so which comes up lambda 3 is uh, 
lambda 3 is v by 2l by 3. So wait a second, what I'll do is, I'll try to array, uh, erase and I'll rewrite everything once again. There is a small mistake in this explanation. Okay, good. So now, now, L, uh, okay, in terms of lambda, I want, right? So lambda 1 is 2L. Lambda 2 is 2 times of L by 2. Because L is same, for the same length we are taking here. In the same way, lambda 3 is, lambda 3 is 2L by 3. See here, L3, L2, L1, same, because we took same length. The same length, different possible frequencies we are taking. So finally, velocity is uh, lambda f or f is v by lambda. The first possibility, you can write it as f naught. V by, what is the first wavelength possible? 2L. F1, V by second possible wavelength, that's a 2L by 2. 2L by 2 and 2 goes up. So 2 times of V by 2L. But V by 2L is F0. So altogether, this F1, you can write it as 2 times of F0. And uh, F2, F2 is V by lambda 3, that's a 2L by 3. That's a 3 times of F0. So clearly we can see now F0, F1, F2 goes as F0, 2 times of F0, 3 times of F0 and so on. So which means if you have 10 hertz as F0, the second possibility is 20 hertz. Third possibility is 30 hertz. So this is exactly like stretched string stretched string behaves like a open pipe so only difference is in a stretched string you have node and node at the edges but in open pipe you have anti-node and anti-node at the edges that's the only difference all other things are same 